gonna make some fudge sickles. Some frozen bananas, throw some in, in a couple scoops of cocoa powder. And then I have here this vintage flint potato masher. It's a nice sturdy masher with a waffle head. Those work great. A spoon and finish stirring it up so it's all the cocoa powder is homogenized. Here it is. To fill this up, it helps if you kind of squeeze it like this, it's at least when the um, mixture is thick like this. It only takes a few little scoops to fill this up. And then keep squeezing it and kind of punch it down. And then leave enough space on here because when you put the lid on, see I overfilled it a little bit, it's oozing out. And then two and a half bananas made five fudge sickles. So you can plan on about a half a banana per fudge sickle, then put them in the freezer overnight. There is our yummy homemade fudge sickle. If you're interested in the Tupperware molds or the Flint potato masher, visit my shop where you'll find these items and hundreds more vintage kitchenwares. Thanks for watching.